<laughs> hey BBs, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Keisha with an E, not an I, and we focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, and overall good vibes. And if that is part of your vibe, we definitely want you to subscribe. As you can see by the title, I'm sure you've seen a lot of influencers showing their best and worst purchases of 2023. But I wanted to do something a little different. I just wanted to share my best items of 2023. Now, everything was not purchased in 2023, but since I'm new here and we're just getting to know each other, I figured why not just throw in my favorite pieces. So go ahead and grab your drink and let's go ahead and get into just my top five favorite things. I could have went longer, but I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. I definitely have some more items that I consider part of my favorite things, but um, yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to absolutely show my favorite, favorite things, these things that I do use every single day. And I think that you will also get some use out of this video. So let's go ahead and get into the first thing and start with some perfume. I found this um, perfume. Actually, you know when Sephora give you like little samples? I got this sample for I think like my birthday or something. And when I tell you I fell in love with this scent, this is Way, uh, Melrose Place. And oh, when I tell you, oh, this is so, like, it's so light, it's refreshing. Like this perfume, Run to your nearest Sephora and smell this scent right here. They they have different scents as well, but this one right here, I just completely fell in love with. I have not moved on to any other perfume. I even bought another bottle. I even purchased the body cream. And my girlies, you know, when you mix this with some Vaseline, it just makes the body just smell just amazing. So I got some of this, but let me tell you, this bottle, this size right here goes for, I think like $65. Now they have the smaller versions of this. And I, I think they start at like $26. Let me look at my nose. I think it's $26. But when I tell you this smells so good. Now, a little disclaimer, as we get to know each other, you know, you'll kind of get to know that I, of course, who doesn't want to smell good, right? But I don't believe in purchasing perfume more than, my max will be $200. It really, with that $200, I want um, a purse size and a lotion. Like, I want it to be a gift box. That's what I prefer it to be at the end of the day. But um, I will go up to about $200, but I am just not your, two, your three, $400, $500 perfume girl. That, that ain't me like I don't I don't need to spend that much to smell good and did you know that only 20 to 30 percent of a spray gets on you say so at the max 30 percent you're just wasting 70 percent like 70 percent of money that you just paid 300 or 400 dollars is just use it just a waste so for me I, I just don't um, believe in that. But when I could find a good one that smells good, like I even found, what was it? I found this one other Zara. Um, you know, when you're just kind of like waiting in the in line and they have the perfume and everything there. And I had found this one, I think it's called like Sunset. I'm, I'm not sure, don't quote me. But that one also is, she smells good. Like I really like a light, fresh, a little bit of a musk um type perfume i just like very clean smells like I, that's what i just want to smell like um a fabric softener that's like that's the type of scent that i want to give i want you to you know when i walk past it be like man she smells like fresh laundry like who doesn't want to smell like that but um this one right here is definitely a winner of course I got you all the links will be in the description below so check this out at Sephora I'm not sure who else sells this brand I'm sure the brand itself probably has a website but Sephora always got you there 
Well, my next favorite thing is my bum bag. Now, she definitely has had some wear and tear. I've had her since, man, I think she's probably about, probably about five years old. About five years old and um, yeah, airport bag, grocery store, gym bag. Um, because really, it's my only fanny pack. I do have the new way I did I like this bag so much that I did get the new way but the new way don't have the, the zipper in the back like I don't know why they didn't put the zipper in the back and this is really my favorite part because I just put my my wallet right here you know it's just just close to the chest close to the vest right here you know what I mean and you just zip get what you need and boom like I'm walking through the streets you know whatever I gotta do it's just very convenient so her right here I absolutely love this bag and I wish that with the new addition that they that they put the zipper in the bag not sure why y'all didn't do that not sure at all I was able to find a couple of these on the resale market and they went up in price I am so surprised that the price pretty much had have doubled um, this bag was like 1500 and I think it's going for like 2300 or 2600 dollars right now like they 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 tripping they they really they really going up um, she really needs to be clean she needs a bath real bad but yeah this is absolutely one of my favorites of course I found some similar looks if you are interested with lower price points I found this cream bum bag. It's a Wolf and Badger. This one's $91. Um, and also this Carl Lagerfeld stud bum bag. I thought this one was pretty cute as well for $145. Coach also has the bum bags. And I'm interested in actually getting a black one, maybe from Coach. Um, I do want to invest in another one. I just have to make sure too that they have all the compartments that I need because again, just in love with that little zipper in the back it just it's very convenient and I need it and whoever does a fanny pack definitely put a zipper in the back okay all right my next item are um, my Balenciaga runners these are my favorite sneakers <laughs> of all times like I absolutely love these they're lightweight they're not like the triple S the triple S were so heavy and um, I yeah they I don't even I don't even wear mine at all they probably need to be resold but these right here are absolutely my favorite shoe they're so comfortable again they're just like an airport shoe and at this point they're so beat up that they are kind of just like my, my everyday um, sneaker when I'm just kind of running around I do have another color that I invested in because I did like um, this sneaker so much again that it's so these runners are so comfortable but for some reason it just don't hit like this one I don't I don't know like I really like this style but you know another shoe that is very similar to this that I do also want to try out is the Asics Asics has some really dope shoes too like I have a couple here that I'm looking at and I think I want to try some of those I want to I want to find a green pair I want to find like a green and silver pair. I think Bottega has a green and silver pair of sneakers that I really like. But again, I think I just wanna, I just wanna get some Asics. Uh, it, it's kind of really not that that serious. I don't think this year I will be investing in many sneakers. I think I'm, I'm good with what I have. I have a ton of sneakers that I don't already wear, so I don't think I'll be investing in these sneakers this year. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's go ahead and go with another shoe. So, my absolutely all-time favorite MVP, VIP, are the Chanel Dad Sandals. I know, I know, I know. I know it's kind of like an up or down thing. People really don't like all of the, you know, like the Velcro and the snaps. But when I tell you this shoe is just so convenient and like, who, I feel like it's comfortable. You don't have to worry about any type of like grip toe 
you know, like it's secure on the back of your heel. You know how sometimes when you wear, like for me, I know when I wear my, my uh, Gucci platform heel, my sandals, like you kind of have to have some little toe muscle with that. Like you have to be aware um, of your steps. You have to be aware to grip your toes on those shoes because otherwise you're gonna trip and fall. But with these, these are comfortable. Like you don't, you, you know, like you don't have to have any type of grip toe with these. So that's why I love the dad sandals. I absolutely recommend the dad sandals. Like these shoes are just so comfortable. And um, these are my absolute favorite ones. Anytime that I am running to just put on something real quick and I need to put on a sandal, she is what I run to. I absolutely love these. I probably had her for damn, probably about three years or so. So she's, you know, obviously holding up well. Definitely got cost for wear with these. But hold on, have some other options. Coach also has a really good pair of the dad sandals, Speed Madden. I mean, there's so many different brands that has done the dad sandal. So you can find a dad sandal anywhere. Like, that's no problem. But when I tell you, if you haven't tried a dad sandal, you're missing. You're missing out. Like, seriously, you're missing out on comfortable toes when you're out. Because with your other sandals, with those slide-ins, you have to have foot awareness. When you have dad sandals on, you don't have to worry about foot awareness. You can just be easy peasy. So, I recommend it. Okay, next thing. Let's go ahead and get into another face um, item. So, quick story. I was in Tampa and my niece and I, we went into Sephora, and um, for one, I love like skincare products. So like Sephora, I really can stay in there all day. I love to just find new items. Um, but the salesman, his skin was skinning. Like, I, I'm like, what do you use on your face? I always um, typically use fresh, um, vegan. I, I pretty much like to use only clean products on my, on my face. And before finding this product, I only use fresh. Still great, I still use it kind of like in between. But he told me what he used on his face. And I'm like, whatever you using, I need it, like ASAP. I want it. So, with that being said, it is Shani Darden. When I tell you I absolutely love this um, face cleanser, it, because it's like a serum as well, and it gives so much moisture to your face, especially when I'm wearing makeup. I'll, how I do my skincare, I'll use, sometimes I'll use like, say I'll use like fresh, I'll use that first, and then I'll follow up with, with this because I just want to get all of the benefits. I want to make sure that the skin is pure um, when I put this on. Even before, even if I don't have any makeup on, like I'll just use, I just like a, the cleansing water with the pad, just kind of clean my face first, and then I'll go in with this. But when I tell you, oh, and by the way, this is a black owned brand. So she is a, um, she's an esthetician. She has a lot of different products. Like she holds, she has a whole different line. I do plan on trying the different products as well. But this right here, ladies, if you are looking to find a different type of um, cleansing, a face cleanser, I do recommend this one right here. It is just, it smells good. It just feels so like buttery and soft and it just goes on so well. But absolutely love this. This one this one was a 2023 purchase. I think actually I got this around um no no September? Yeah, September. I got this around September. Good one. I don't think I'm going back to anything else. This one, this one is a winner right here. I, it's gonna take, it's gonna take something really, really good to get me away from this one. Now she is a pretty little penny. It's about forty bucks, but um, definitely worth it. I think that it is worth it to invest in your skincare. You can't go cheap with your skincare. But also a disclaimer: does not mean that your products have to be expensive for them to be good products either. So I just want to be able to make that. 
clear. But I do think you need to be vigilant about products that are in these items. There are a lot of um, drugstore items that are amazing as well, so don't don't get me wrong with that. But again, a try. Go to her website. She has many items on there. Um, she has a you know a complete skincare line, and I'm sure that you will find something that is suitable for your skin. But make sure that you do take care of your skin. Make sure you know you're looking good and refreshed, and just trying to keep it right, keep it tight as long as you possibly can and just having a good skincare regimen also plays a part in that wash your face not just washing your face with just soap and that's it please invest in your skincare get to know your skin more and play around with products too because that that always that always helps as well you know that's the only way you're going to find out what works best for you is to try new things so i definitely definitely recommend you try that out your skin is going to thank you for it. Okay, my very last thing on the list is my Louis Vuitton um, Raffia bag, and she is amazing for travel. And the main thing that I do love is that it has two straps, double straps. This one is always great when you just want to, you know, of course, just put it on a shoulder. This one's amazing because I just put this on top of my carry-on and, you know, just put this over um, the handle part and we good and secure there. So my goal is to try to travel with Jess, her here, and my carry-on. I'ma see if I can do it. Just, you know, maybe for like a three day or something type of trip or, you know, weekend trip. I'm trying to see if I can, if I can do that. I should be able to. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to pack it this far. We go, we gonna help each other out with that. But. Her right here, she's very spacious, has um, a pocket, pockets inside, also zipper, the, also the zipper, so that's why I usually, you know, keep at the passports and everything else, all the important documents in there, but it fits, help my computer, any of my, all of my equipment, it'll fit my camera bag. It's very, it's very spacious. She is one of my favorite things and I cannot um, go anywhere without her. I love the fact that they have that, that's genius. That just won me over with the longer strap because you be needing that longer strap. I just hate what it just has, just a top handle and that's it. Like the strap is needed people. Make it comfortable for us, help us out. All right, so uh, that is all of my favorite things. I was able to find the bag on a resale site. All these bags are just like, they have hiked up the price. It's, it's, re it's ridiculous how much that bags are going for now. We have this Wolf and Badger for $110, a great size, also has the handle, and also this Lujo bag going for $80. But if you're looking for a Raffia bag, there's definitely some options out there. All the links will be in the description box below. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any of these items, especially if you tried out the perfume and the face wash. Definitely let me know what you think about those two. I am I'm extremely interested to know about that because they are both so amazing to me. But I think you'll like them too. Alright babies, that brings us to the end of the video. And if you have stayed around to the end, go ahead and subscribe and join the family. Thank you for watching and of course, always take care of you and don't let anyone ever steal your vibe. Until next time.